Adobe RoboHelp provides localization support with XLIP and machine translation. Let's say that you manage four localizations in English, Spanish, German, and Japanese. There are two workflows to produce translation projects. One is to export and import XLIP files translated by a vendor, and the other is to use machine translation. Either way, you want to manage all text files, including things like table of contents, glossary, index and variables, not to mention images. You'll also want to make sure you know if the files become out of sync or missing. And with RoboHelp, you can exclude the content to be translated on a very granular level as well. XLIF is the XML localization interchange file format. It's the standardized way for your content to be translated by different tools in a common format. Machine translation is an efficient and cost-effective solution with a number of prominent providers, including Google Cloud, Microsoft Bing Translation, and Yandex Translate, just to name a few. To help you get a sense of the XLIP workflow, I'm going to add a French translation to this project. In the author pane, underneath translations, I've got my three existing translations. I'll hit the plus, choose from about 40 different languages, Confirm my location and hit Done. RoboHelp takes care of the rest and gives me a set of localized French project files that I can use for import and export using XLIF or using machine translation. We're already looking at the localized files for French, so I'll continue with that for an XLIF example. In RoboHelp, it's easy enough to select all of my topics and then export those out to XLIF, but instead, I'd rather create a subset. So I'll go over to this filter panel and I'll select the Human Resources folder. That allows me to very rapidly select all the files in Human Resources, come up, Click on Export to XLIF, giving me a list of the five files, and I can hit OK. I'll confirm the folder that I'm going to store my files, and RoboHelp exports the XLIF to that directory. Inside my localization folder, I've got another directory called Translations, with my French files all ready to go. If I decide that this project is a good candidate for machine translation, I can change to machine translation in the settings box, choose from one of the provided vendors, and then enter my credentials, hit save, and watch as my content is sent to the localization servers and then returned back to me into my localized layouts. Localization with Adobe RoboHelp giving your content a global reach. For a personalized demo or questions, please write to us, techcom at adobe.com.